Yo, yo, what up, guys? Kevin Grant here, and um, check out my new hat. Well, it's not new, but check it out. It's got that dollar sign on there, and on this side, if you can see that, it says Born Rich, all right? So, once I became aware that everyone is born rich, that we are all born rich, I decided to have this hat made. I placed a dollar sign on there. Um, <clears throat> so today I'm going to read some information from The Greatest Secret by Rhonda Burns. Uh, Rhonda Burns also wrote the book titled The Secret. So I'm pretty sure most people by now have, has heard of The Secret or even listened to the audio or maybe read the book. But um, I'm going to share some information from her book The Greatest Secret. And um, so let's go ahead and jump right into this and get started. Um, happiness is your natural state. So if you don't feel happy right now, then you have a negative feeling that is stopping that happiness from being present within you. All right. So she goes on to say, this is chapter seven. And her chapter seven is titled The End of Negative Feelings. All right. Um, it says this chapter has various practices that will help in negative feelings that have that have had you wrapped in the in their repeti rep, rep, repetitive loop when you are free from them you will finally live your life in your natural state of sheer joy and happiness a life more spectacular than anything you have lived up until now the first the first thing you need to do is get in touch with negative feelings that you're not even aware of Lots of people have negative feelings they're not aware of, including myself. Lots of people are depressed and they're not aware they are. Lots of people are depressed and they are not aware that they that they are depressed. It's only when they make contact with joy that they understand how depressed they were. The first thing you need is awareness of your negative feelings. What negative feelings? Gloominess, for instance. You're feeling gloomy and moody. You feel self-hatred or guilt. You feel that life is pointless and that it makes no sense. You've got hurt. You've got hurt feelings. Your feelings. You're feeling nervous and tense. Get in touch with those feelings first. All right. So turn the page here, and it goes on to say, you don't need to know the name of the negative feeling you have because sometimes. It can be hard to pinpoint exactly what you're feeling. All you need to know is that if the feeling isn't happy, if the feeling isn't a happy feeling, it's a negative feeling. And that and that negative feeling is holding you back. And that negative feeling is holding back your life and preventing you from living in constant happiness. Just be aware of the negative feeling without resisting it, expressing it or judging it in any way. And recognize that it's just a feeling. Do not make any attempt to change the feeling. When you stop wanting to get rid of the feeling and you stop resisting it, the energy will be released and the feeling can disappear. If you stop resisting an emotion, it cannot stand. That's important. If you stop resisting an emotion, it cannot stand. We've convinced ourselves that if we resist bad feelings, we make them go away. But instead, we are guaranteeing that we will experience them over and over again. As the psychiatrist Carl Jung said, whatever you resist, persists. Take away resistance and any negative feeling, no matter how strong, passes through the body quickly. My teacher showed me, this is Rhonda Burns, chapter 7, from the book, um, The Greatest Secret. And this is her book, chapter 7, once again. So she gets the credit. But she, she writes, my teacher showed me that when you place the palm of your hand against someone else's palm, and each of you push against the other's hand, you will feel resistance. If the other person stops pushing with their hand, immediately... Both hands drop. If you can, experiment with this with a friend or family member because experiencing it for yourself 
will make it crystal clear. This is exactly what happens when you stop resisting a negative emotion. It drops away. To stop, to stop resisting a negative feeling, you have to allow the feeling to be present without trying to change it. Just be aware of the feeling. Relax and don't tense up against it because that's resisting it. Ironically, you let the feeling go by relaxing and allowing it to be there without wanting to change it or get rid of it, without wanting to make it different or do anything about it. Let the feeling be there and that allows the energy of it to be released. It's the very opposite to what we've always done, which explains why we have so many suppressed negative emotions. So, yeah, I just want to read that. Just want to share that with you guys from The Greatest Secret. That was chapter seven, I think. And um, once again, guys, I do one on one coaching uh, on information uh, such as this. Right. Like Rundle has written a great book, The Secret. And now this greatest secret. And um, I have other authors that I really like to read information from, like like Neville Goddard and um, Napoleon Hill and things like that. But what I offer is if someone what I'm what I'm good at is when someone uh, shares information with me, a client or whatever, I'm good at listening to listening carefully to what you're telling me. And then I can go back and I can show you where your thoughts or your beliefs or your awareness or your consciousness. I can show you where you are causing uh, the negative experiences or the experience or the experiences that you don't want to experience, how you are causing and creating those experiences. And with the, what I do is I show you how to now begin become aware and create the experience that you do want to experience by by changing your thoughts, uh, your beliefs and your attitudes towards yourself, others, and the way that you think. So um, my information will be below this video. If you are interested in coaching, uh, just contact me and uh, I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching. Uh, please give a like, a thumbs up or whatever. Uh, subscribe and um, uh, click the bell notification so you'll know when I upload my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.